Welcome to Door Academy episode 18. And we come into. Ooh, ooh dang it. And it's gonna return five inches to the hand. Also, when Nightmare Penguin is flipped, I get to send one of your cards back to your hand. Off to La Vista the Fire Princess. Sweet cuddlefish, it's my turn. First up, I'm tributing Nightmare Penguin so I can summon out the Great Emperor Penguin. Ah, oh, nuts. Next, I'm decking out my Great Emperor Penguin with the Penguin. I still can't believe that card is real now. Now gives my Penguin 800 additional attack points. It's a 2600. Right, shred some waves, Emperor Penguin. Straight through his life points. Dang, we cut back to Link. He's finally, and he's losing. Man, I just won! Congrats, man! That was a well-earned win! That Emperor Penguin of yours is pretty cool! Mm. Speaking of winning, you need to start doing that! Or did you forget we're in a tournament, <laughs> right? here, Lynx? Oh, yeah, you're totally right! <laughs> just don't go around sharing star chips again. Did do that? What? Did I really just do that? I must be imagining things. Obviously, there's no way I could do that. I mean, unless... Stupid, 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 stupid! Stop thinking that! We don't want to do that! There's no way we want to do that! What do you mean, we? You hear yourself. I did want to, but... Why would we? Because then... What do you mean, we? It's mean I. That I... Hey, look over there! It's that girl from before! Now I know she's sure like a great having dueling opponent! Feet problems uh, Lynx, do you know her? Feelings. Who is she? Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you! The day of the dance, I was dueling her! No, you're not supposed to- hell of a duelist! You were You weren't supposed to be dueling during the dance, and you're- Yeah! I had to dance with your partner, because you didn't show up! We were worried about you! Uh, uh, it's a well what if Scott gets a girlfriend out of this, even though he never gets to win a duel, he does get a girlfriend? It's like, what if Cyrus got a Lexus? Oh, I hope he didn't hear anything I said. Hello again, stranger. I was going to offer to duel you. <laughs> How do you do, fellow kid? Tomato, so I don't know if you're up to this. Are you sick or something? I I'm not red. Your eyes are just bleeding because they know the dire consequences of ever challenging me to a duel. Jesus, she sounds crazy. <laughs> How'd you just say all that, you little oh, fleabag? Ooh. Enough with the jibber jabber. It's time to duel. <laughs> Did you say duel? Okay, I'm down. You've ever said yet. Though you will come to regret those words very soon. Sorry, that was like the worst setup for a duel ever, but it's also entirely in character for Link to just say, Did you say duel? I'm game! It's like someone challenging Goku to a fight. It's like, that's all I need to hear. Let's do it. This is a tournament duel, so I gotta take this seriously. So no monkeying around. Time to take this seriously. Let's see. Awesome! For my first move, I'm summoning out Archer Charger! This man really needs to to his deck. Oh, okay. You missed timing, but okay. We'll say it's an if. <laughs> That's enough damage for now, so I think I'll take it easy on you and end my turn. You left your pipsqueak in attack mode. The last mistake you'll ever make. Ooh. Also, you're activating multiple destruction against a Batlin Boxer deck, which are all fire monsters. Then, due to his ability, I can send one card from my deck to the graveyard. Then, if I have another warrior type monster on the field, I can special summon the Fire Flint Lady to the field. Okay. Since she was successfully summoned, I'll now activate the second part of her ability. I can shoot you this card to special summon one other monster from my hand. You're going to glass jaw. Nope, switch hitter. The monster I choose is Batman Boxer Switch Hitter. A switch hitter. What did I say? Why did I say glass jaw? Then, due to his ability, when Switch Hitter is summoned, I can now special summon a monster back from my graveyard. So that was the so one he sent. Uh, uh, she sent with head gear. And now I overlay all three of my level four battle boxers to open the overlay network to exceed summon number 105. Ah, crud. Lynx is going to have to face Dennis! down an over 100 number with 3k attack points Finally, through the field spell. So oh, crap. All of my overlay units, my battle Lynx just got wrecked. Completely. Oh, and before I forget, since you played Molten Destruction, my Battle and Boxer Star Cestus now gains an additional 500 points. Now, Battle and Star Cestus destroys Archer to Archer! <laughs> now then, finish off this wannabe duelist! 
Wait, please, oh, under lady, give me a chance to prove my god! You had that chance, turn one! Now, battle boxer stars, just just wipe this trash off the map! Jeez. <laughs> nice tomboy animation, though. What? What in the... <laughs> Just Wait, what? <laughs> just instantly go to Look on the bright. At the very least, it wasn't one of those anime moments where they I land on the girl and lands in her All right, I'm going first. girl parts. We'll just go with. This hit is terrible. Get a better deck. For my turn, I'm summoning a familiar knight in defense mode, and that's all. That at least you learned to know defense mode. mode this time. The slackers always did imitate me. Such terrible duplists. Let me show you a real move! First up, I'm activating the spell card known as Double Summon! This card allows me to instantly summon out two monsters! So I summon out oh. Iron Chain Snake! Okay. Man, she got a makeover! Two now of them. I activate the effect of one of my Iron Chain Snakes. By equipping this monster onto your monster, it loses 800 attack and defense! Now my second Iron Chain Snake will destroy nice your six hundred defense knight. and four hundred attack. When Familiar second. Knight is destroyed, we each get to special summon a little four lower monster to the field. Then I choose to special summon on my Iron Chain Repairman in attack mode. She actually did have a deck. It was a bad deck, but it was a deck, and not just a mishmash of cards. I now activate the second effect of my Iron Chain. You can't. It's sent to the graveyard and it was attached to your monster. Oh wait, no, the, the other one. Okay, never mind. No, no, no. This is this is this is legal. Four. Familiar was a level four star, which means you're losing four cards. Oh man, I just lost some really good cards. <laughs> All the cards you want in your opening hand, and none of the garnets. Activating Iron Chain Repair Man's ability. Just as the name suggests, he can repair one Iron Chain monster from the grave. So I think I'll resummon my Iron Chain Snake. To end my turn, I'm placing two cards face down. Alright, not my strongest first turn, but I'm still in this duel, so I need to make the most of this. Mm. Alright, finally some good luck! I summoned forth my fire princess in attack mode! I know and then she's so playing Nightmare Penguin. Two level four monsters to exceed some and go, 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 go. You could have gone to Utopia. Ah, oh, who am I kidding? What am I complaining about? At least she summoned a new monster that was just Utopia. Deck. Deck. So I'm going to use both to wish you out a whopping 1600 points of damage! Eh, you can't, but it's fine. And with that all said and done, I think I'll end my turn. All right, that wasn't a terrible move. But if you want to see a great move, watch this! Ah, perfect. I now summon from Iron Chain Coil. Oh boy, she can synchro summon. Nope. Something worse for Lynx. And whenever he destroys a monster in battle, you are a black boy. And now that your defenses allow both my Iron Chain Snakes attack you directly, dealing you a whopping 1,600 points of damage. How do you like it? Now I activate Iron Chain Coil's ability. He can give one Iron Chain monster on the field an additional 300 points. So I give that to my Iron Chain Coil! Yep, give it to itself and attack directly. And finally, I tune Iron Chain Coil to all my other Iron Chain monsters in order to synchro stuff. Okay, we all know this is off by a mile. And now the Iron Chain Dragon does look cool, though. So it's already 300. Also, we go to the normal at the end phase, but eh. Yeah, it's gonna have to. He summons a monster. Yep, well, it's over. Crush his very last defense! Now I unchain the dragon and wipe up the back with his right points! Dang it! Hey, don't worry. There'll be plenty of other duels you can try to win. You know, I couldn't help but over here you keep losing duels. Ah, oh, crap. You need to pick me up, why don't you duel me, since you always seem to defeat me so easily. You just made a tie with the Barians. This is dangerous. Why, thank you, sir. What an excellent choice. Let's, Let's duel. duel. I'll start things off by activating You think the three duels in one, but they're all like... <laughs> Two or three turns. <laughs> That's funny. Crap. You start with the seal. Which one of the Barian Sphere feel, but whatever. Again, pretend the Ori Calcos is the Barian Sphere feel from the Zexo anime. Freak! What did you just do? 
Well, you see, Lynx, I happen to have the fortune of meeting the Barians, an alien race that wants to destroy all of humanity. And so I sold my soul for power. They gave me the ability to destroy my enemies. Is it too late to call off the duel? Does it matter? Anyone who would hurt anyone is a bad person. And you just joined up. Not wrong. Correct, Amundo. So now I have the power. Not fully to wrong, anyway. For ruining everything. For beating you at an entry exam? My God, are you that much of a loser? Get a life, would ya? That's right. <laughs> what is? That you don't have a life? Ooh. Exactly! You took my life away from me, and now I want it back! Sorry, Dylan. You got no one to blame but yourself. Actually, thanks to the Barians, I can blame whoever I want. Especially when I have the power to... It's all back. everybody else's fault. Hmm, not bad. For my first move, I'm summoning a walk lever in defense mode. And then you go along with it. I'm placing down three face mm. down. That thing's destroyed right, for the next battle phase. Nice. First up, I'm summoning out Baron and Captain in attack mode. Then due to its ability, whenever he's summoned, I can special summon a little four lore monster from my hand to the field. So I special summon Big Belly Knight. Okay. Then I'm activating the spell card Star Changer. Gonna make Marauding a level three. A uh, four. So I'm adding From a level three to a level four. I make him a level four monster. <clears throat> I now open the overlay network to exceed my two level four Gonna go into Cowboy to again? Summon Ga -ga -ga Cowboy! And while he's in defense mode, I can use one overlay unit to dish out 800 points of damage. So I'm going to use both to push you out a whopping 1600 points of damage. It's a good first turn for Lynx. <laughs> they really needed a good first turn after the previous couple duels. Ooh. This is a really good first turn for Lynx. And because Big Belly Knight was used as an Xyz material, I can now special summon level 3 or lower. Where are these come from your previous two duels? Now then, what do I do from here? I could just attack and win this duel in one go. But can he really kill me? Does he have the power to do that? I mean, that seal felt pretty real. Plus, he's got three face downs. I need to play it safe for now and figure out what he's gonna do! And I guess we'll see what he's gonna do in the next episode. I don't blame Lynx for being cautious, though. At least he's given a reason as to why he's not attacking. Like, <laughs> if you want to think of Lynx just being like, but I've been OTK'd like literally twice in a row now, so I think I'll give him a chance at a pure, you know, pure sportsmanship. No, there's a Baron on loose, Lynx. It's okay to be a bad sportsman when this is the case. <laughs> it waits your life on the line. Cheating is generally wrong, but if the other guy is trying to kill you, I think we can let it slide a little. <laughs> or at least bad sportsmanship in this regard. Don't be a poor sport, unless the guy is a literal murderer, in which case, be a poor sport. <laughs> Oy. This was a really bad streak for Lynx. He's just getting lost after loss after loss. <laughs> Worst of all, they're OTK, so it's like, I have been there, my dude. We're just like, why does my deck hate me? I hope that it can make up for it with this time now, because he had a really good first over in turn. And if it goes anything like, um... The girl will get her head replaced, I'm forgetting the name. The, uh, the, arm dra the now armed dragon slash dino duelist. Uh, hopefully things will work out for him, and he can get a uh, updated card or something to help in uh, improve his deck or something. But yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Although, I keep bad mouthing his deck and how it's pretty crap, but gotta admit, with an opening turn like that, even though he probably like broke seven rules from Sunday, it does make the deck look more impressive and playable. <laughs> it's like the Onomatopoeia archetype is not a very good archetype, but they do have some slick combos. So, yeah. Bad luck for Lynx, but and <laughs> he went from I got beaten by my friends, OTK by this girl who doesn't even who isn't even in a good place emotionally right now after what he she just did with Toma and took it out on me to took facing the he it, it, like one of the toughest duelists in the girls' blue dorm from who's probably not in the right place because she got her ass kicked by a sheer a couple episodes ago and to now facing down a bear. Lynx got it down a really bad luck streak today. <laughs> it's one thing to lose your friends, but then you're just getting OTK'd left and right by people who are angry that have nothing to do with you. And it's funny to think that Link just kind of out himself right there. 
links. We spent the entire reason that we had the girl, the top girls duel was so you wouldn't get sewn out, and then you go into that. You freaking Neanderthal. Ugh, jeez. So this is a weird ass tournament where you just go around losing constantly with no consequences. And there's no like starship feature or anything. Maybe there's maybe they're keeping a track or something like okay he's lost this one this one this one one this one this one like a tally or something just like the one who wins the most percentage is the one who's gonna go up in the school duels. <gasps> I wonder what happened to the Sheer and Tom Toma win though if that's the case because. They're for North Academy, so what are they gonna do? The, the moment you go to fight North Academy, I surrender. <laughs> I guess that's what most likely is gonna be the case. The, it's the only one that makes sense, because you're not paying so otherwise. Unless we just, unless they do fight back for some reason, just to like, you know, keep up the facade a little bit longer. Even though they really don't have to at that point, but... Yeah, I don't... They, it would show how strong North Academy is if they can beat Toma or Ashira legitimately. But, uh, yeah. Alright. <laughs> Link's just facing down a Baryon now. Even if it's a guy he's been several times, the fact that he's got the sphere field slash seal open, things have gotten a lot more dangerous. Hopefully he can get himself out of this situation, but we'll find out next week. Good work on this one, Link's and Toma. I look forward to the next one. Well... The next one's already come out. You know what I'm trying to say. Later.